Welcome back to Shems. In this episode, we'll install all underfloor mechanical systems, water, waste, gas, and HVAC. Hello, my name is Mike, uh, Mike Star Plumbing Company. What we're gonna do today is gonna be uh, underfloor plumbing, basically waste, uh, water, and the gas. The first of all, what we're gonna do, check the plan and lay, lay out the house, make sure everything, like all plumbing, in the wall. Check the first floor right here, that's the first fl floor bathroom. So we just find out this wall and this wall and uh, measure everything, scale by the plan, like quarter per foot, in the shower, and we need to keep the clearance for the toilet and sinks, kitchen sink, gas stove, and same thing, we're looking like uh, bring everything to the second floor. We find out everything on the first floor. Any walls, we can bring the plumbing to the second floor. The second floor we got, we have other two bathrooms, the full bathrooms, bath number two, bath number three, it's kind of like a master bathroom, laundry. Put the nails in and uh, pull the strings for the walls. So that's the wall we mark. That's where you're gonna measure like uh, by the plan, the shower, toilet, sink, find out uh, where we go for the gas also. So this project basically uh, underfloor take me like uh, with my crew like day and a half. And as soon as the house ready for uh, tapping out, like take other like four days and one or two days for finish. To keep the construction project moving along, we scheduled all the underfloor mechanical systems all at once. Everyone was working together under the floor. For the water lines, we used the PEX pipe. It's much faster and easier to work with in comparison to traditional methods like copper. There's this tool called a PEX expander for connecting the fittings. It expands a ring around the pipe for a moment, allowing the pipe to just slip onto the fitting and then the pipe and ring tightly contract around the fitting, making it watertight. The pipes are well insulated with the two pipe wrap insulation. The slit down the center is glued and then the tubes are tightened with zip ties at the end. A path is drilled for the gas pipe. The most common pipe for gas is black steel. All the threads are made on site as the pipe is being measured and connected. A sealant is used and the gas pipe is then tightened with a wrench. For waste, we use the black PVC pipe. It's important to understand how gravity is the key role for this system to work properly. The waistline needs to be at a proper slope for it to work. Ready? 
And finally, HVAC. We use flexible duct for quiet airflow. Remember, before the subfloor gets covered and permanently glued and nailed shut, do yourself a favor and get your underfloor water, waste, gas, and HVAC systems done, and then cover the floor.